How are you doing Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Now, you've, I'm on the floor. Uh, did you see that wheel? I'm on the floor with that wheel. This, uh, I've already filmed the intro, but I'm going to replace it with this seg segment that you're now watching. I'm on the dyno. I'm trying to make the dyno wheel fit the dyno forks, fit the dyno frame, although I'm going to cut the frame up like, but I just want to see where everything sits and make sure that the wheel's going to work in the forks and the mud garden, etc, etc. And, fuck it, it's been all right. Katastrophe is too big a word, but you'll see I've had to be thinking on my feet and making up solutions as I go along, and I made a few mistakes too, so this is not typical of me, which everyone who knows me will go, yes it is, what you've been telling us that for, shut up. But follow along, let's get these spaces made, eventually, uh, and we can go from there, can't we? So happy days, let's do it. Okie dokie, here she is, the lovely Dinah, and what a beautiful bike it is. Now, my plan is to turn it a bit more old school, yeah? We've got some um, earlier forks, and we've got spoke wheels, and we've got a long fender. So we're going to chop the arse end off it, drop it on lower shockers that are fully shrouded, so it's got that old school look, wheel, watch the camera. Um, Drop it an inch here. We're going to get in, we're going to do a top tube and headstock. So we're going to clean all that shit off that's under there and make it look a lot nicer and make it sit a little bit lower. We've got some ape hangers that you've already seen me modify that are going to be taller. And I am seriously considering ditching the switch gear. Although I do like the functionality. So uh, there's a brief outline. Basically, we're going for an old school look. We're going to drop it. We're going to not make it slammed like because I want it still practical but we're going to go more old school with a look so let's see what's first on the agenda right here's the forks these are out of a uh, fucking I can't remember what year soft tail out of an early soft tail 88 something like that um maybe not that early I can't remember when soft tails came out anyway they've got the bigger diameter they've got a proper old school yokes i'll have to lose this um and yeah they're gonna do it the wider as well obviously there's a wider wider stance to the uh to the front end there and here's the front wheel 21 inch uh spoked now me being me my life being what it is the, this wheel isn't made for those forks they share the same spindle diameter so they'll fit um, it'll fit, but I need to work out the wheel spacers, yeah? The other side is dead straightforward. We're going to make a disc spacer, so that's going to stick out, and we'll just have a little tube of stainless that copies this the right length. It's not seen at all. This side, I'm going to make a cap, shiny cap, that covers over this face of the bearing, just a dust cover, but it needs to have clearance with the hub. I reckon it needs to touch on the bearing and not on the hub, is what I'm going on about. So there might be a slight air gap there. Um, but that's going to be m more of a feat of engineering, not a feat of engineering. I'm going to make a top out, a shiny top out. And I'm going to recess it slightly so that that gap's not so big. Um, but I'll show you what I mean. If we put a straight edge over the end of that bearing, you can see there's a there's a gap, there's clearance, which is, you know, obvious that needs to be held tight and that spins, so that's how it works. And I don't want a gap quite that big when I make that cover. I think it's a little bit untidy. I'm sure they do something for it, like, but I've not got one. Um, and I bet they come in pairs and I bet they don't make them for this application, so I'm going to make one. So what I've done, first of all, I've checked that the wheel's true not true that it's laced central that if i put a straight edge on this bearing come across to the wheel edge both sides 
it's the same because we need the wheel to sit in the middle of the fork. So I did that and now, unsurprisingly, the same. And between the bearings, you know, the outside of the or both sides on the wheel is seven and a quarter inches. And it's difficult to measure because you can't get a tape up and I can't hold two straight edges and then measure the gap, which would be the most accurate way of doing it. You could guess the middle and times it by two or whatever, I don't know, you know. But what I do is uh, block one end off with a rule or something and then shove a bit of fucking aluminium welding rod up till it hits and use the old thumb on it and then measure that. And then use your common sense. Yeah, what I got was <coughs> seven and a quarter. So the forks measure eight and seven sixteenths, which is a difference of one and three sixteenths. Divided by two is 21 32s, thereabouts. I think, <laughs> check the maths. I'm better with metric when it comes to shit like this. Um, but I ain't making two spaces 2132, that's a faff. I reckon I can get away with a 32nd of a fucking inch, which is fuck all like, three quarters of a mil, thereabouts, um, and make them a little bit longer each, at 11 sixteenths, which is 685 thou. I'll do two bits of fucking scrap, 685 thou, and try it in a test fit, just a sanity check, we'll call that. Uh, and that's led me to my uh, beautifully crafted, thanks and uh, whiteboard, where I've worked out I need a spacer an inch in diameter for the brake side with a three quarter bore hole through it for the spindle, and it needs to be that 6875 long. And then we need one that's two inches on the flange to cover that uh, end of that bearing with a little recess at an inch, or maybe it's a little bit bigger than an inch, but fuck all, nothing, just a millimetre, like, um, 40 thou deep. And again, three quarters through there, and this will be, I've not marked it on it, this will be one inch, so six, eight, seven, five long. And we've got some nice bits of stainless to make that. I was thinking of putting a big fat spacer on the side um, where there's, break is but it don't need it it just needs to copy the middle so got material for that too right so we've got a mocked up and uh, it's a good job we fucking did because i must have had a brain fart he didn't fit originally them spaces they were too long so you can see my mistake and drop it in the comments below what i've done i've gone to metric fuck it uh there was 185 the forks are 215, near as fuck it is to swear in, which is 30 mil, which is 15 mil. Um, 11 sixteenths is not 15 mil, it's 17.3 or something like that. So, it won't fit. There you go. Anyway, we can press on now, so we can make the, that, oh, that's not nice, is it? We can make that nicer and cut a bit off at 15 mil, and then we can look at this. Um, <laughs> There's not a lot of room in there, so it will have to be a, a top hat and not a, a slow taper. I might be able to radius it out or something, but there ain't a lot to play with, so we'll see what we can conjure up for that. Age. I know. Let's fucking go. So we'll get it faced up. It's already got some action on the end, but. Oh, we can leave a bit, that'll get eliminated as we machine it. So let's touch off, give it a slight cut, and have a look for size. So it's not quite round at that, a bit more alpha. There we go. Yeah. So I'm guessing about 29. 29.56, so I'll set my digital reader on that X. 29.56, enter. So. And we want it to be 25, don't we? So, you know, I wonder if I could do it in one go. Well, I can do it in one go. <clears throat> I don't want it though, so we'll go, we'll go down to 27, and then we'll go the last bit. 27's there. Touch on the end and it wants to be 15 mil long, so let's do it. Okie dokie, this is the size 25.4. 
Come on, baby. Down to that shoulder, <coughs> which will give us a bit to party it off. Happy days. Just break that edge. And now we'll get drilled out. So into the pilot. Just a double do. Very nice and careful with this, we don't want to be snapping the centre drill off. Like our Johnny lad over at Double Boost. Bless him. Give me the 10mm pilot. <coughs> And we want to go in about 18 mil. So there's 10, and we'll carry on. Alright, we've slowed things down, got some water on. <laughs> I anticipate this will be a bit of a squealer. So you can join me when I finish this. So, with that drilled out, we can break that edge and we can get parted off. So we've set up and locked off. Another water on. And send it. Come on, baby. Yes, she blows, Captain. The water's not doing fuck all. But there you go. Hey ho. That's one down, one to go. Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuckstock, you know it makes sense. Bad. I forgot that we're going to spin it round up and face this end up. So, we touch on there. I did it 0.25 long so we could face it off, which is, come on. Somewhere around there. And we can send that look, set that bear off, ping. Break that edge. Break the top edge. Like fucking so. Right, on with the big one. And uh, we found two pieces of that two inch stainless that we trimmed up because I couldn't hold that long bit and me uh, it will not get down the, the throat you know how that is so I've found some smaller bits to work with so I'll just face that off don't matter about that little bit so we're going to drill that off I'm hoping it's friendlier in the swarf department than first indicated and we're going to see how the old button does because I want a radius in the corner where it transitions I'm going to make top up I'm probably going to make two top hats, let me change my feed direction. I've looked at that little one that I've just made and I'm not overly impressed. I think we can do better. So, let's take a cut and have a measure. See where we're at. Hmm. Not the nicest finish, I don't think but not too shabby. We are at pretty big. 50.22, that can't be right, hold on. Check, yeah, I'm on zero. Right, let me come around here. Oh. 50, 50, 50, 50. 50.19, that says, so we're on, we'll take 50.2. X equals 50 point and top right that's good um, we'll touch on the end as well there and zero the DRO so I reckon we want about 10 mil towards the chuck machining down to 25 it seems quite a lot you think the bugger I think the original ones are bigger. No, when you ain't got out of copper. Maybe go 30. Uh, I don't know. 
Let's have a look. Bear with. Right, we've had a rethink. So not only have we gone from fucking Imperial to metric. <laughs> yeah, fucking Jesus. Couldn't make it all, could you? Not only have we gone from roughing out to actually working the size out properly. Um, we're going fat up. We're going 32 mil on the skinny bit. So where were we at? 50, weren't we? Let's take a couple of mil off. Let's see what it's like at 48. I think it'll piss this, to be fair. And we want to move along 9 mil. Date and a half. Just under 9, that is. Get rid of that stringy shit. So we can easily do 2 mil. Let's try for 3. Let's go down to 45. See how it likes that. Mm, a bit of a squealer, but still doing it. 29. Right, that is pushing the envelope a little bit. So we'll go to uh, two and a half. So we'll go 41 and a half. Bit of a squealer again. Still doing it. Uh, and I will work my way down in, suit, in uh, similar fashion until we get nearer the finished size. I'll fucking I'll turn that tip round as well. Okay then, last cut. It's been eventful. Down to eight and a half. Nine is there and off. So, let's break that edge. And I don't like to finish. Break this edge, that's fucking sharp as fuck. I'm going to cut myself up with that if I'm not careful. Yeah, I can't say I'm over impressed with the finish. Uh, it'll polish up like, but that's a shame that is. I wonder if I can emery it. Emery it to good, or good enough at least. I'll give this a buff up. And you can join me when I've done that. Fucking that gets hot. Burns you through the paper. Eh? That's a lot better. We've dressed that up with the Emirate. Don't attempt that if you're not confident using shit like that around fucking machinery. If it, if it grabs that and has your finger, it'll, it'll win. So take care. Use a light grip. And if you're not confident doing it, then finish the job and take it over to the fucking polishing machine like, you know what I mean? Right. Safety third, so in we go with the pilot, and then we're gonna, sorry, in we go with the centre drill, nice and steady, again, and then we'll swap out to our 10 mil pilot drill, with a bit of water on, because you have to the side to get a bit warm. And we'll just steadily drill that all the way through, I reckon. We're throwing things down and coming at it with lasser. So, get the water on, get the feed nice and steady. See, that chatter's not great for the finish, but I'm hoping that's on the end of the hole, not the sides. And it'd be a beat, it's a wheel spacer. I could make it undersized and then run a boring bar through if I needed a precise finish, but I don't. It's just got to fill the gap like that. It's one of them fucking jobs this is, ain't it? So, in order to get in the imparting bit and get it to the right length, I need about that much hanging out. I'm a bit fit of that, because there ain't a lot holding it in. I could turn it round um, and machine it down, but then I'd only have 7 mil holding in by the time I've finished, so... Yeah, it's fucking... How's that? Oh, it's a bit wonky donkey. I'll get that trued up and we will try with much trepidation. So let's fucking go. So we're going to touch on there. Like that. And we want 16 plus the bit is 19. If we can get 
seems to fucking work that thing. Don't it? Let me have a sanity check, because, you know, because he's up going Pete fucking Tom. No, no, he's right. The boy's right, look. There's about seven with the ball. That's, and that's just over 19, so... What I reckon is, if you've got something to cross, cross it for us. Yeah. And we'll do this 19 and a quarter, so we can skim a bit off. Which is just there, let me lock my saddle off quick. Keeping you waiting. Like that. Put some water on and send it, see what happens. I'm hoping it just fucking goes like. You could, if it erupts, it'll fucking be on camera like. You'll see, you'll see a crack if it crashes, but I think we're good. You should send that all the way. And everyone's getting a free bath in fucking calling, which is wonderful. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. Go on, nearly there. Any minute now. And no. Sounding fucking crunchy, that is. It's fucking crunchy. I'm not happy with that. Bear with me. Right, let's get this fucking... Tip's got fly shit on it. I'm going to put a new one in. And get rid of that. Make sure the tool's nice and tight. But you can't really see, sorry. I didn't want to move anything. You know, it's one of them jobs, isn't it? Put a new tip in. Uh, the right way round, Ralph. I always say I'm not bothered about parting off. People, people don't like it, but me and parting off get on. Hmm. Maybe not today. All right. Move that fucking water out of the way. And just check that everything's still fucking golden. So we're on there with a new tip. Yeah. And we want 16 plus 3 is 19 and a quarter. Are you too far? Come on. Come on, fucker. 2 5 is there. Oh, yeah, look, we've got a bit of deflection going on. That won't do, will it? So, hmm. I think what we need to do is take that where it wants to go, which is about there, look. And then finish the job by hand, nice and steady like. And then we'll have to grip it, we'll have to turn it round when it's parted off and face it up to length. So that's going to be interesting. So we've trued it up in the chuck and we've just got a grip of it and we need, we've had a measure about half a mil off so let's give that a quick face up we're going to be really fucking tentative here i'm not happy with how it's being held i'm not happy with how fucking not true it is to be fair but this will be fine for length won't it so let's go a couple point three point three third of a mil 15 down, well less, 13 down, and the last bit should be about, come on fucker, there, that's half a mil in total, so, now, I did say about boring this out to miss the spacer. Let's just break that, break that edge. Let's go and have a look at it on the wheel. Get it out and have a look at it on the wheel. And if it needs that machining out, then we'll machine it out. We'll see. Right, here it is in situ. Uh, Rethink number 100 on this job is the spacer between this, the space between this where the disc goes and where the caliper hanger is, doesn't look to be a mile out. 
So this wheel might have come out a front end that's compatible like, meaning I won't have a disc spacer. So all the more reason to make a pretty here, look. The thing I'm not sure about is that gap. There, look. And that's where the wheel bearing that sits in here comes protrudes further, as I said earlier. I've measured it and it's about 0.8 of a mil. So I could go half a mil, but it's a little bit really tight. And if you get any shit in there on a rainy day, road dirt, I don't know. It, to me, that don't seem too shabby. And just as importantly, both sides, like I've just said, need it, so I've got to make another one. So I've got to decide whether I want to get rid of that, some of that gap, which I'm not sure is the right, right thing to do. I think I'll leave the gap and just make another one of those off camera. Um, and hopefully we won't have such issues with the parting off. I reckon when we eat right out, not too much later, because we sussed it, we could measure off the one I just made and we could step cut this, this taper down and then just shape it up with the button tool so it came out a lot easier. Um, Alright, they're both identical, these spaces I've made and they're the biggest bit of stainless steel that I possess. I've spoke to my engineer and he ain't got anything. The reason I'm saying that is, look, there's a fucking difference. This is fatter. I might have to remake that, get some fatter material and remake that. Just so it's smooth like, you know. So it's the same like that is. No doubt this will be that size to go over the disc. Ain't it? Hmm. Another score by error. It's one of them fucking days, isn't it? There you go. So I might go on the hunt for some fucking 60 mil. Whatever that's going to be. 58 mil or something. Stainless. And make make another one that's, that's actually parallel with that. Like, oh, don't know. Answers on a postcard to the usual matching spaces or a spacer that matches in the comments below. Right. So that's that. We stood up with the wheel in. Uh, I'm going to probably source some larger material for this spacer although it's tight on the fork leg there oh, sorry on the foot bottom so well, might have to make one slightly different for this side but that's all right um, and what i've measured <coughs> what i've worked out sorry i measured how long it has stood up and it's about two inches longer than this front end now if we allow an inch sag once it, the bike's on it it's an inch longer which is great because i'm going to drop it an inch so I can either lift the headstock up two inch, uh, which I probably won't do. I'll probably rake it out a little bit. Right, happy days. Next job you'll see me record for this is uh, some top hats to go in there where the normal rubbers go, because I don't want to rub them out, my big apes. I know, I know you might not say they're big at 16, but I'll solid mount them. Uh, so I need to make some adapters so I can fit these risers and get the handlebars on. Yeah. So there you go. That was my morning, fucking about making wheel spacers that I'm not 100% happy with and it kind of evolved as we did it. Um, I'll look at getting some material and look at making another spacer for that side because I'm, I'm not in love with it. You need to be in love with it, don't you? Um, and I'll get on and make those washer top hat adapters so I can get the risers and get the underbars on. Yeah, happy days. It just leaves me as always to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and give me a sub. Click that notification bell. Check out all the bump in the description below, including my merchandise and some links to some cool people. And I will catch you on the next one. Lots of love, everyone. Have a good one.